you guys, it's Audra, and I gotta first say that I am so sorry. I didn't post a video at all last week. I have some recorded, but I've had some camera issues, so today I'm with all my webcam again, and it's probably going to be terrible. My voice won't sync up, but whatever. Um, I just wanted to jump on here and apologize and say that I'm going to try to get some stuff uploaded tonight and posted for you throughout the rest of the week and do a quick unboxing. I got some stuff from Sephora today. I'm really excited about. Uh, let's also quickly talk about my hair. I did color it again. In the videos I'm going to post through the rest of the week, there's kind of an in between the blonde and this stage. And then it faded off really bad, which you're not gonna see because I recorded the videos like two weeks ago um, when I originally colored my hair from the blonde and it faded off and it was nasty and so I colored it again and I'm loving this. Um, this is how I like to keep my hair. I had gone lighter, whatever, whatever. This is how it's gonna be. So tell me what you think. If you like the darker, um, I love it. It's just so me, I think. So I got a lot of really cool samples with my Sephora order. I got the um, Roberto Cavalli perfume. I've not smelled it yet. I got um, the Lorac Face Self Self Tantalizer sample. I'm ready to excited to try. And then I got this other one, which is funny. I I did pick this. Um, it's the Miracle Skin. Um, I don't. Re I had some real brilliant reason for picking it that I don't remember now. This is in shade medium. Okay, here's one of the things I purchased. Which is a Miracle Skin in the shade Tan. No, dark. Um, so anyway, I'll talk about this in just a second. I'm going to try to keep this video short so I don't have to edit out a lot of ignorant stuff. Okay, so I got sent this also on their special. And it's a fragrance bag. I chose fragrance. <laughs> fragrance. That's not a word. Fragrance samples. In casual, um, there are some others you can pick. They sent me this book, Find Your Fragrance. Um, oh, and it talks about the casual and playful stuff. Um, anyway, I don't know. I haven't read this a lot, but they sent that book, and then I got... Um, Flower by Kinzo. I got Jennifer Aniston. I got Amazing Grace by Philosophy. Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Oh, and there's two more. Uh, Boyfriend by, um, what's that girl? I can't think of her name. I had the Billionaire Boyfriend. It was in a favorites last month. And I love, I've not smelled Boyfriend though. And then Pure by DKNY. Which I feel like I've smelled that before. I'm going to put this one on. This is Boyfriend. We'll see. Anyway, so those were my samples. I went online specifically... To get, I went to the store and they don't carry this in my store anymore. But this is the Miracle Skin Transformer SPF 20. It's a BB cream. Oh, that's nice. The boyfriend's nice. It's not as good as boy, billionaire boyfriend, but it's good. Um, this is. I tried the Clinique BB cream. I tried the Boshka one. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, I tried. I don't know, a couple other ones. And this one is my favorite. Um, it is a little pricey. This is $49. And that's why I didn't get it sooner. Because I just wasn't sure I could do it. But then I did it. Um, because I just love how it makes me look. Now, I got the color dark. Which I don't think that I am dark by any means. But this fades, I mean, blends out to like nothingness. Which is why I got the darker color. So... There it is. And you can see it's really dark. But it just blends um, really well. I blended it on this half of my skin. 
And I know this is a terrible camera, so you can't see. But look, like you can't even tell that it's darker over there. So it looks good. I love how this feels. And I also liked, with the other ones, I felt like um, I couldn't put a foundation over it. Um, which I know is not really the point of a BB cream. But I just felt like they were just too heavy or whatever. This one you really can. It is definitely a primer. It's a protector. It just makes your skin look great. Um, it says it transforms your skin with an antioxidant rich hydrating base, lightweight, luminous coverage, uh, and powerful UVA and UVB SPF protection. Um, improved skin texture and pore size helps minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, reduces pigmentation, imperfection, evens out skin tones, leaves your skin with a smooth airbrushed and luminous finish. I just really like it and it's definitely worth trying. Like I said, mine Sephora doesn't have it in store anymore so you can't go get a sample. I tried two different samples before deciding on it because of the price point. Um, I thought about getting the NARS Tinted Moisturizer instead. Sorry, that sun's coming through. No matter where I put this camera. Um, but decided that it was worth the extra dollar or two dollars or whatever to get this. Because I love it. So, and then I um, had, when I was in the store, I got to looking at the Too Faced Summer Collection. And the Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Priming Powder and Finishing Veil caught my attention. And this stuff is incredible. And I'm sad that I'm not on um, my HD camera to show you this because I doubt it will show up on this. But it honestly does make a huge difference in your skin. Um, oh, there's a sticker on it. Hate when it's smarter than me. I know you're not really going to be able to tell, I don't think. On this camera which is unfortunate but next time you are at Sephora or they probably have this at Ulta too right it's definitely worth like put it on your hand and just look at how different it makes just your hand look with just the uh, powder itself because it's incredible even um, my guy friend was with me and even he was like I don't know what it's supposed to do but I can tell that it does something which from a guy I think is a pretty, like that's a good seller. So anyway, it's just a really finely milled powder. I'm going to put a little bit in the cap and just on my finger. So there it is on my finger. And let me see, there's my hand. Like I said, you're not going to be able to tell. But it's just really finely milled and it just honestly takes away all of like the lines on your face and um, I just it just makes it look different and like I said you're not gonna be able to tell on this janky old webcam which is sad I just wasted time so anyway um I, like I said I'm really sorry for the quality of this video but um I don't know what that noise was but I wanted to just post something before I got down to like editing and trying to get that stuff uploaded. Hopefully it works tonight. Like I said, it's Wednesday. I'm going to try to get some stuff posted on Thursday and Friday. Um, hopefully soon. I'm really sorry about this big like week and a half gap, but I'm going to try not to let it happen again without notice. Uh, it's just been weird here the last two weeks. So uh, anyway. That's all I have to say about anything. Thanks for watching my unboxing. I will see you guys so, so soon. I have missed your comments, your emails, and everything. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Bye.